Pentagon is running an artificial intelligence program to test how people react to propaganda and strategy of tension. The program is called Sentient World Simulation, or SWS. Defense intelligence and homeland security officials are constructing a parallel world on a computer that agencies will use to test propaganda messages and military strategies. With this god-tier technology, if the user wants to bring about a certain event, he would already know how the masses would likely behave. It features an avatar for each person in the real world that's based upon data collected about us from records and the internet. The core of the data collection is the smartphone, which will be ramped up with 5G technology. Avoid both. SWS uses AI routines based on the psychological theories of Marty Seligman and others. Seligman introduced the theory of learned helplessness in the 1960s, after electroshocking beagles until they cowered and urinated on the bottom of their cages. The cacistocracy, or crime syndicate, is developing a parallel earth with billions of individual nodes that reflect or mirror every man, woman, and child, this side of the dividing line between reality, artificial reality, and virtual reality. SWS will be a synthetic mirror of the real world with automated continuous calibration with respect to current real world information, according to a concept paper for the project. SWS provides an environment for testing psychological operations, or PSYOPs, the paper reads. Crime syndicate operatives can then develop and test multiple courses of action to anticipate and shape behaviors of adversaries, neutrals, and partners. SWS also replicates financial institutions, utilities, media outlets and street corner shops. By applying theories of economics and human psychology, its developers believe they can predict and influence how individuals and mobs will respond to various stressors. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. What sort of data is being collected? Everyone watching this video should have a good look at what the people at the Domestic Surveillance Directorate are kind enough to reveal. It's prefaced with an Orwellian Big Brother warning and their motto. If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Here is a partial list of current and planned future data collection targets. Internet searches. Websites visited. Emails sent and received. Social media activity, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Blogging activity, including posts read, written, and commented on. Photos viewed and or uploaded online. Mobile phone GPS location data. Mobile phone apps downloaded. Phone call records. Text messages sent and received. Skype video calls. Online purchases and auction transactions. Credit card or debit card transactions. Financial information. Legal documents travel documents, health records, cable television shows watched and recorded, commuter toll records, electronic bus and subway passes or smart buses, facial recognition data from surveillance cameras, educational records, arrest records, driver license information, DNA. All right then, inquiring minds would like to know, why haven't numerous cold cases, human and drug trafficking mafias, etc. etc. been busted with all this intrusion? They go further with revelation of the method. In the spirit of openness and transparency, here is a partial list of current and planned future data collection targets. Gosh, what nice considerate tyrants. In the left column, they provide a list of related reading material on these schemes and the implications to be used on said targets. Is this to promote self-censoring and the ASH experiment outcomes to fit nicely into SWS? Next, scroll down the page to see the pre-crime revelation and wrong think endgame. What about virtual reality and VR headsets? What are the psychological effects of engaging in VR? Will they give the user a warning? 
these emit blue light and fire right into your pineal gland, taking you to Neverland, the likely ultimate feed mechanism of SWS. The tail end of centuries of efforts by the cave and the Illuminists adepts is to completely control other human beings. The following quote comes from a communist manual on how to brainwash a nation. The first thing to be degraded in any nation is the state of man himself. Nations which have high ethical tone are difficult to conquer. Their loyalties are hard to shake, their allegiance to their leaders is fanatical, and what they usually call their spiritual integrity cannot be violated by duress. It is not efficient to attack a nation in such a frame of mind. It is the basic purpose of mind control to reduce that state of mind to a point where it can be ordered and enslaved. Thus, the first target is man himself. He must be degraded from a spiritual being to an animalistic reaction pattern. He must think of himself as an animal capable only of animalistic reactions. He must no longer think of himself or of his fellows as capable of spiritual endurance or nobility. The goal is to break down the human brain or pineal gland to such an extent that it can no longer support higher consciousness. It's well established that the pineal gland releases melatonin, which directs circadian rhythms and sleep cycles. Good sleep is critical to your well-being and higher human consciousness. The pineal gland acts like a third eye by detecting light and releasing a hormonal response. It allows the body to respond to the light and dark cycles of day and night on Earth. As a conductor of the endocrine system, the pineal gland controls hormone signals to all organs. It plays a dual neural endocrine role with functions spanning into all bodily systems. Today, evidence suggests the pineal gland is the master conductor of the physiology of the brain and body. René Descartes described the pineal gland as a unique meeting point between body and soul. He also described it where all thoughts are formed. In the interim, before many of us here are caught up in some big brother wrong think gulag sweep, care and nourishment of the third eye to counter the brainwashing and strategy of tension programming is paramount. Avoiding 5G and VR are obvious, as is cutting down on electronic devices, such as smartphones that can harm you as well as track you. The pineal gland can be activated via certain sounds and tones. There are a number of websites that provide sounds for pineal gland protection. You can experiment with them, but most of us need pineal gland awakening. I have found that avoidance of mainstream media k press helps. In fact, when occasionally I am exposed to it, I recoil. Headsets are useful. Try to relax before bed. Shut down computers and electronic devices an hour ahead of time. Stay away from alcohol and drugs. Fluoride suppresses the gland, so avoid that too. The pineal gland is not protected by the blood-brain barrier, thus aluminum, mercury and other toxics can calcify it. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.